Hey, how's it going, guys? It's Felipe, your social Buddha with Angelo, uh, my brother, and also a mentor in the past and now partner in this cool endeavor for, uh, for social Buddha. So I want to welcome you to this live cast again uh, for the second time in a row. Um, let us know if it's working, if you can hear us, give us a like, some hearts, if you're able to hear us. Also, if you have some questions as we go along in this um, video, uh, let us know. Um, you can put in live on the bottom if it's, you know, you're asking live so we know to answer it right now. Or you can put, um, you know, replay so that we know to answer it later. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. Uh, thanks for being on this uh, call, video call, Angelo. Uh, appreciate it. No problem. It's, uh, it's exciting to be here. Awesome, awesome. So what we are going to be talking about today is uh, it goes along with what we, you know, kind of what we talked about last week in regards to creating a positive story, uh, recreating, uh, you know, what I talked about in terms of an empowering routine and that sort of thing. And it, more than anything, I want to address um, kind of a resistance in terms of, you know, creation and affirmations and all that kind of stuff and why many times they don't work. So we're going to be talking about that and we're going to be talking about how to really empower them and how to make them more personal so that it actually, they actually work for you as opposed to just making stuff up in your head and it feels like you're lying to yourself. So that is what we're gonna be talking about. Uh, so I wanna start first of all with a quote. And the quote is from uh, Eckhart Tolle. It goes like this. Whatever you think the world is withholding from you, you are withholding from the world. And so think about that for a second. That has to do not only with, um, more than anything, it has to do with your actions and with your energy. So many times we don't take responsibility for whatever life we have or whatever we've created because we feel that the world owes us something. And we haven't, um, we haven't really taken an introspection look in terms of are we showing up as a kind of person that not only deserves this, but is, has that right energy to attract whatever it is that you might want. So that's what we're gonna talk about. So um, can you talk a little bit about Angelo? about um, how energy works and what it's about and your take on it? Well, I, th I think I, I just want to comment a little bit about what you just said. Uh, I think it's about believing that you actually deserve more than what, uh, what you're actually uh, getting from life right now. I think you have mm -hmm. to believe that, uh, that you actually deserve more, that we're all, um, we all have the potential, we all have the, the right to, to have uh, and attract what we, what we chose in life. And what holds us back, it's our, our, our internal, uh, internal selves, that, uh, the talk that we have with ourselves and our story. But aside from that, uh, it is uh, energy that, I mean, obviously everything is made out of energy, but that story creates a foundation or a, uh, uh, of energy, uh, whether it's positive or negative, according to your story. So it, it is very powerful for somebody to change their uh, story to the e the right energy in order to to be able to achieve what they want in life. Um, and that said, it's uh, that kind of energy is a reflection of your inner self. So if you're feeling a certain way or you have certain beliefs inside of you that are a little uh, are a little bit or are different, I wouldn't say negative because at the end of the day, uh, it, it is what it is. You are holding yourself back. You're limiting yourself from actually achieving uh, and, and really believing that you deserve what you want. And that kind of holding back, it actually uh, keeps you more away from it. Right. And how do you, um, by the way, thanks for commenting, Bruna. Um, if you can hear us and everything, shoot us a like, shoot us a heart. Let us know that you can hear us. And like if hearts. you have any questions, uh, yeah, hearts are great. Uh, yeah. If you have any questions, let us know on the comments below and we'll be do the best to answer them as we're talking along the way. Um, and, um, yeah, so what are some of or those resistant points and how do, how do they manifest both in terms of action or thoughts or how do you see those resistant points showing up? Well, one of them is that you don't believe in, in actually, uh, uh, you knew the, that you have the potential that you can actually do it. I mean, all of your life, somebody has told, told you so many times that you had to earn something, you had to work something hard for something that you couldn't do it. All this programming that happened before. Uh, it's actually uh, unconsciously or in your subconscious, and that reflects an automatic reaction to a lot of uh, events that happen around you. So um, I guess uh, it's, uh, 
it's it's a bit of a it's a bit of a actually discovering and knowing yourself inside and knowing what's holding you back. Right, right, right. And how do you do that? And how do you, I guess, tune in more into, I guess, those thoughts and those uh, uh, limiting beliefs that you might have? One of them is actually uh, writing down your story, writing down what you're telling yourself. The conversation that you're having yourself is very important. It actually, uh, it is the, it is the 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 heart i would say of of uh your external world uh that is the energy that you reflect and that is the part of uh, uh of, of 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 how everything else re uh reacts to you in accordance to your inner self and one of the uh things that we've always said is that to actually write it down uh on a sure. piece of paper on a journal on a on something where you can actually um see what you're telling yourself we're really good uh, uh hiding or uh, avoiding uh, actually confronting those issues within our head. We're really good at uh, escaping and, and finding uh, reasons why you shouldn't do it. Well, let's you... talk about that, actually. Um, in regards to escaping and all that kind of stuff, um, I mean, we all have limiting beliefs. We all have anxieties. And yeah, especially uh, when you're going into something new, you're doing a new business, you're, you know, you're going into a new environment, perhaps, or trying to create um, you know, a new circle of friends, or whatever it is, if it's new, there are new things that are going to come up in terms of limiting beliefs, in terms of anxieties. It's just a given. And it's more than anything, what kind of habits do you have in place to really be powerful as you begin to always uh, be pushing your comfort zone? And so, you know, some of the things that do come up and have come up for us, uh, I know I can relate in terms of the social anxiety. I've mentioned this in some of my posts that kind of, you know, going to a certain place and if it's, especially if it's new. Especially if, uh, I don't know, perhaps the people in the past, it's been where, you know, yeah, you get anxiety or you prefer smaller groups and that kind of stuff. It's very, very normal things that most people have. And, uh, you know, everything from that to obviously fear of rejection, whether it's social, whether it's at work, you know, there's all these different limiting beliefs that happen. And many times, you know, we first of all, we feel that we are a victim. And so we, we victimize ourselves by thinking that no one else has these limiting beliefs and no one else uh, feels this way or has these problems. When, in, when in, you know, from all of the clients that we were talking to and all the people that we've uh, coached as well as uh, interacted in recent times, um, they say some of the similar things that we used to have as well. Everything from what I've mentioned to the fact that, um, oh, I freeze up in a certain conversation and I don't know what to say next or I want to be a leader. You know, it's not just in terms of the fears, but the wants as well. They're similar. We all want to be leaders. We all want to lead something or create some kind of, a, you know, some kind of a circle where we can have impact and that sort of thing. Or we want to, you know, perhaps attract better people into our lives. That's a very common one as well. So how do you do it? Again, it's not just about, you know, obviously, and it's very obvious, not just about expecting it to land on your lap, um, but rather beginning to create this certain energy and the, and creating yourself um, into the person that is actually attracting these kind of things, uh, it, rather, especially rather than chasing it. So again, it's about being not necessarily um, just simply um, creating or manifesting in that way in regards to the law of attraction and that kind of stuff. So, yeah, no, it's, uh, it, it's, it's part of, uh, of the, the, uh, the habits, the positive habits that you can actually create in your life in order to, to be able to become the, this person. I mean, we all want things, but we don't want the pain that comes with it. So we all right. try to avoid the pain. And a lot of people have talked about a lot about uh, affirmations, about creating your story like we have. And in reality, I mean, uh, uh, affirmations do work as long as you believe in them. But further more than that, uh, there's a process that you need to go through in order to, uh, to, for them not to serve as patches. You can't have a, a patch over a wound. If you haven't accepted that, uh, that uh, uh, you have uh, a limiting belief uh, that you, something is holding you back, then uh, it's just putting a patch on it and uh, eventually it's going to bleed out again. Right. You're treating the, uh, the symptom rather than the cause. And also uh, in that regard, um, many times, you know, and I've had discussions with friends, I've had discussions with a number of people in regards to, you know, do affirmations work? Do they not work? And 
again, that's what we're going to talk about. And that's what we're talking about. The fact that you simply say some kind of an affirmation, like I'm confident or this and that and the other, again, it's just fluff and it's going to feel like a lie unless you're getting really down into your internal self and getting to know yourself, getting to know your past traumas, getting to know what happened perhaps in your childhood, getting to know what your limiting beliefs are. Those are super important. This is one of the things that I talked about in the last live, but I wanted to dive deep into in regards to you really have to be uh, very aware of what's going on um, you know, in your subconscious. And that's, again, through journaling. That's, again, through um, just making yourself aware of the thoughts that are going on in your head. And that, that's correct. But uh, go, going a little bit deeper into that, I think uh, just the fact that you actually can uh, accept those stories as what they are, stories. They are something that, an experience that happened to you, something that actually uh, left, left an imprint on your subconscious to actually... Uh, reflect that into the external world and if you're able to accept that uh you'll realize that it doesn't really have to have that kind of effect anymore that everything it was just uh, an event that you can actually now take the wheel and actually turn it in a different direction and really not make your present uh your past your past right or your past your present <laughs> oh, that's what i meant to say sorry yeah <laughs> yeah no exactly and um and so what would you say are some of the, besides, you know, kind of really getting to know yourself and reframing that past and everything, what are some of the other um, elements you would say that are important to actually not just, you know, say things to yourself and, you know, hopefully that'll happen and all that kind of stuff. What are some of the other things? That well, I, think would, what, I think one of the most important things is to actually let go of, of, of the results, let go of actually wanting something. Uh, it's hard to say not to want something. But rather, I, I see I see it now as a, as a, as a focus point. Uh, you're always gonna be your attention is always gonna be on something, right. whether whether it is something negative or positive. There's no other way about it. So it's about fo uh, switching your focus to uh, to actually a, a new experience, a new event, a new perspective of things. And I think that my the the best way I can say it is to, to move your focus to actually giving. A, mm -hmm. a focus to uh, to actually providing for people, and aside from that, so I have a question you for you. Um, as a person, let's say that you know, playing devil's advocate here, as a person that I want to create something in my life, I want to empower myself. Why should I care to give? Because one, it actually feel, uh, fulfills you more than actually taking something for yourself, mm -hmm. and. And in regards to that, if you really want to look at it that way, you actually receive more by giving. The people react differently to you. Uh, all your interactions are completely different than actually trying to get something for you. You're actually happier, to be honest. When you actually give uh, in, in, to a certain level, uh, I mean, I, I'm not going to go too deep into this, but rejection doesn't exist when you're mm -hmm. giving. If you're giving uh, what they are rejecting, it's not you. It's actually a gift that you're giving to them. And if that gift is doesn't accept it, it actually still belongs to you. So in reality, it's, it's, a, it's a much complex uh, subject that I'm not going to get into right now. But uh, giving fulfills you a lot more than actually trying to get something for you. And it makes you a lot happier in life. And more than that, it brings you more to you if you want to look at it that way. Obviously, that's not the way of doing it to actually get something for you, like I said. But in reality, it is that. Okay. Yeah. So in regards to that, I mean, um, beyond giving as well, I think one of the things that's important when it comes to um, actually beginning to manifest and create uh, based on your, uh, your mindset and all this kind of stuff that you're building is also, um, again, your past, uh, making it about giving, but also uh, very importantly that you want to build consistency around this. Uh, in two ways. The first one is you want to build consistency around. You want to do your routine every single day so it becomes who you are. Second of all, you want to actually make a plan that's executable uh, in regards to whatever you want to create. So you want to, again, as they say, start with the end in mind, really figure out what is your vision and plan it out step by step and begin taking those actions, maybe do some corrections along the way, but take massive action. Um, it is really true that once you commit to something and you really, really commit to something beyond, uh, you know, even having some kind of a safety net, the universe will conspire in your favor and 
things will, will, will go absolutely crazy. It'll be just fucking insane in terms of the things that happen to you because there you, you, you don't really give a shit about fear. You conquer it and you are moving forward regardless of it. Well, the good thing about that is that you're actually talking about fear right now. But in, rea in reality, actually, fear comes from you trying to attain something. Right. Whether it's validation, approval, trying to fit into a scenario, trying to fit into a group, whatever it is that you're trying to get, that's what brings, that, that's what brings fear. Mm -hmm. uh, when you start giving, it, it, especially if it's giving unconditionally without expecting right. anything in return, it actually comes from love. So it, it, it's, it's an unconditional love that you project it to everybody. And in return, you're actually at peace. Right, right. Yeah, anything else that you would add in terms of um, um, making your goals a reality and what you've done in the past personally beyond the story or maybe integrating it into the story or into your affirmations, into your vision, if you will? Well, I think part, part of the goal is actually uh, doing, uh, uh, like you said, the present tense as if you already have them, but also have a vision and visualizations of, uh, of how does it feel to actually have them now. Uh, when you don't have something and you're actually wanting something, the vision and the feeling is completely different than actually already having it. So if, if, you, if you have a goal, how would you think uh, you would feel, you would see it, you would act uh, if that a specific thing already happens to you on uh, a regular basis, on a normal basis? Yeah. You, you, it's a completely different uh, feeling, a different you, in a sense. Uh, um, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it, it, it's, it's part of experience already having it. Exactly, yeah, absolutely. And in going back into giving, I, I think one of the things that I wanted to touch base on beyond all the story and everything in regards to something a little bit more practical uh, in regards to, you know, achieving your goals, perhaps, you know, social confidence, uh, dating, uh, and, and these kind of things uh, that I want to touch on is uh, social capital, meaning, um, you know, how well connected you are and that sort of thing. How, how would you describe how valuable is social capital in regards to your overall life? Well, first of all, I think uh, it, it's, it's so valuable because, uh, especially now in days, it is, uh, I, I've always said this, it's not, uh, a lot of the times it's not what you know it's actually who you know, and this comes along from all your uh, your 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 social environment, whether it's for for profession, career, uh, business, uh, dating, whatever it is. Uh, a lot of times comes from actually being social. All these opportunities just open up and rise from uh, from from taking care of your social life. Mm -hmm. They just they just appear in front of you, and you start seeing uh, people as. Uh, 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 as uh, what would you say? Uh, as connections to you, uh, not necessarily to use them, but the the resources are there. And when you start giving to people, people automatically like you, automatically want to take care of you. And whatever it is that you're seeking or you're or you're trying to get done in, in your goals, uh, automatically you already have the resources in front of you. So it's 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 very valuable and and very uh it, it, it's it's a way of living easier and, and a lot effort a lot less with a lot less effort i would say to actually get your goals done nice nice yeah so again i mean it's it's super important to really um you know really get dialed in in terms of uh creating social capital and again the world is very small especially if you're traveling or if you're doing something like that, if you begin to, um, you know, really bring in some of these very important habits that we were talking about, we just had a, a Spanish um, Facebook Live where we talked about everything from mastering the idea or the practice of greeting everyone. Uh, the craziest things will happen. It will happen where, you know, you might be walking down the street and you're meeting people and then all of a sudden you're, maybe you meet them in one country and then you encounter them, you know, by, you uh, coincidence, if you will, in, in another country, the world is so small that especially when you're in this way, you make it a lot smaller and your network becomes so, you know, interconnected from, you know, all over the world that you have access to many resources, but you are also a resource that, a connector, if you will, when it comes to helping people get ahead in their life, helping people 
maybe meet somewhere, someone else like uh, to date perhaps, or for a business partnership and that kind of stuff. From my own background, you know, I've been doing events for maybe, I don't know, nine, 10 years, started in South Korea. You know, I started with knowing no one and I was there. I hadn't, I didn't know the language. I was teaching English at the time. And, uh, you know, I went from knowing no one to having these giant events of almost a thousand people. But again, it was all about providing value. Was, there were charity events. I was connecting people to each other. And they were incredible because everyone came in with a different energy. I mean, I've been doing it in different cities, but everyone came in with different energy as opposed to going uh, to a bar where, you know, the guys are trying to hook up and, you know, it's really weird and everyone's trying to get something from everyone. This is uh, creating an environment and creating yourself as a person of giving, giving good energy, connecting people. And in that way, you become the resource, you become the connector and become incredibly valuable. And so in regards to all this, uh, I do want to talk about something else, which is the freaking three day boot camp that we're going to have uh, coming soon. Actually, we're going to have it um, in the end of May. And that's going to cover not only all this internal stuff that we've been talking about, you've been hearing over and over and you're like, all right, well, I want some practical stuff. We're also going to cover some incredible tips on how to build an incredible social life all over the fucking world. Seriously. But, but so, they got to give us some hearts. Croatia, whether it's Spain, whether it's Denver, whether it's, you know, wherever you're at, whether it's the Philippines, whether it's, you know, wh whatever country you're in, um, you can build this incredible lifestyle and begin building resources. If you're in a very good position in life, that would only make it better. If you're trying to become a leader within your community and that kind of stuff, this is only going to empower you. So again, we'll go into the inside stuff, you know, the internal dialogue, the reframing of the story, as well as the actual actionable steps to creating an incredible lifestyle that allows you to be more confident, that allows you to be a leader, and that allows you to take over your lifestyle to really not only empower yourself, but empower others. Um, and then we're going to finish off with some specific topics that cover business, that cover dating, that cover some of these things that are very important to you guys, of course, and that you're trying to get um, you know, handled. Uh, but it will be in a completely different spin. It's not going to be about getting, it's not going to be about It's going to be, a, you know, it's not going to about be about going straight to into Tinder or going straight to like, hey, I'm going to call a bunch of people and sell them this stuff. It's about creating a lifestyle that's attractive, about becoming someone that is attractive, not only in terms of um, dating, but in terms of perhaps from a business perspective, perhaps from a professional perspective, you're trying to change careers. Again, this is all applicable to any area of your life. And that's what we're going to be talking about in this bootcamp that we're gonna be doing over a three day period. And that's in our Facebook group that we have created. Uh, now, if you'd like to sign up and kind of want to have more information about it, just uh, just say me and we can, we can enter you into the group or send you an invite. Uh, if you haven't already seen the group, uh, I know some people have already started signing up. So feel free uh, to sign up for that. And again, it's gonna be towards the end of May. It's gonna be freaking killer. You gotta freaking love it. So. Sign up for that. Um, anything else you want? Anything else you want to say about anything else, Angela? About anything else? Uh, I truly believe that uh, that we all have this potential to actually live the life uh, that we actually want. That we actually want, but uh, you really need to know your limitations. So this is a way of actually getting there on our free bootcamp. So I I'm really excited to be part of it, and I'm really excited to share. Uh, with everybody what my insight is as far as my life experience goes and I know that you are as well so uh, said that uh, I think uh, I want to see you guys there all right perfect well thanks so much guys and we'll see you at the next Facebook live and uh, any question you guys have put it down below in the comments we'll get to it as soon as we can um, as well as again join our group uh, let us know if you want the link for that and we'll send it right over Uh, any other questions, uh, again, face, feel free to message us, and uh, we'll see you on the boot camp. Take care, guys. See you guys soon.